Well, it started out, I was asleep, and I woke up out of sound sleep, mm -hmm. and everything was black. And it was so black, I couldn't even see my hand in front of me. Mm -hmm. And I, I realized I was no longer in my room. And I, I was looking all around, trying to see and uh, decide where, where was I? What was going on? And as I, I was on this uh, granite, rough granite, and it was like uh, big holes, pit, pit holes, mm. with steam coming out of it. And I realized that this is hell. Mm. And I, all of a sudden I could see, at first I couldn't see my hand in front of me, and then all of a sudden I could see, I could see for hundreds of miles. My eyes were not limited. And I saw nothing. It was just dark and nothing. There was not a person. <clears throat> there was no noise. There was nothing. And then out of, out of all this darkness and this silence, all of a sudden I heard this scream. And the scream was a scream like I have never heard in even a horror movie. It was so loud. It was so, all you could hear was fear, torment, pain. And I knew that whatever was going on with her, I, I thought I thought it was her. I don't know why, but I did. And um, I thought, whatever's going on with her. It's now, who you, who's her? The one he heard, she heard oh, screaming. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I didn't realize that. And so, anyway, I, I knew that whatever was happening to her was getting ready to happen to me. Oh, God. <clears throat> and I was very, very afraid. Very afraid. And um, all of a sudden, I see these imps. They, they were like, oh, I'd say maybe four feet tall. And they were nasty. They stunk. They, it was the worst smell I ever smelled in my life. And they were all excited and in glee of what they were getting ready to do. And they were all in one accord because they were all assigned to me for all eternity oh, to torment me. And they had chains and all kind of gadgets and stuff. And anyway, they were laughing and going, and Jerry, what, what they're going to do to me and all that. And they had this slimy stuff coming out of them, and they were just so nasty. And um, Were they touching? Were they what? Touching you. No, not at this point, they not weren't. Yet. At this point, they weren't touching me. And um, I'm observing this, but I know they're getting ready to come at me. Hmm. And um, they were just laughing and going, you know... You're going to be in hell forever, forever and ever and ever, and we're going to be your tormentor forever and ever and ever. And next thing I know, they were saying the most horrific, shameful. It was, they, I have, you take your most embarrassing moment in your life and multiply it by a thousand. Because that's how awful it was, the things that they were telling me and, and uh, accusing me of. And ju it was just, I couldn't, I couldn't hardly stand it. And then the next thing I know, they were burning me. But I realized that my body wouldn't burn. It, it, would, it was painful, like being burned. But it wouldn't... It, Respond. Yeah. And, uh, and they were just uh, doing all kind of vile things to me. <clears throat> and um, and I, you know, and I knew that this was going to be forever and ever with no end. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm trying to think. The next thing, um, Lord help me. That, that went on for a long time. And then I, then I woke up, and I was so grateful to God that, it, that I woke up, that I wasn't forever in hell. Mm -hmm. And it was just very real, and I knew. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Uh, you he, you'd hear people say, oh, well, that's okay. I'll be in hell with all my friends. Yeah. The, one of the worst parts of this hell was that I had no one. I had not, I was all by myself. And... And the loneliness, the loneliness, the fear, the knowing that I would never, ever be with God. Mm. And I was very aware of God. And, and, it was, and there was nothing, absolutely nothing I could do to stop it. 
And like I said, when I woke up, when I, I came back, mm -hmm. it was like, I, I was so grateful to God that it didn't actually happen. And I was like, I, I mean, I, I was perspiring all over. I was and, and just so uh, beside myself of what I'd been through. It was so dramatic. Cool. Mm -hmm. Apple, didn't it smell? It smelled bad. Oh yeah, yeah I, I had said that. Yeah, she's oh, then the spinning. Oh yeah, when they were when they were making fun of me and and jeering me, the the oh, yeah. the spit would come out of their mouths on me and the stench. The stench. Oh, they they smelled worse than anything I ever smelled in my life about mm. by about a thousand times. Mm. I mean, and they had this mm. look like snot coming from them. Mm. I, it was horrible. They were so nasty, so dirty, and they all had that one thing in common of tormenting me for all eternity. And I was by myself. It was not a party. Believe me, it was not a party. Apple, were you, were you, were you, could you see yourself then? I mean, did you realize what you had on? Did you still have your pajamas on or what? No, I wasn't aware of what I had on. Okay. okay. I wasn't, I, I, when I was aware, was I was standing it? up in this darkness. It was just so black at first that I couldn't see my hand in front of me. And then as my eyes adjusted, they adjusted to the point that I could see limit, like hundreds limit of miles. Just. And there was nothing around, nothing. Just me and hundreds of miles of nothing. <laughs> and the, uh, the fear of the unknown, the, the spirit of loneliness, huh. and, and, and I knew it was forever and ever with no end. I knew it, and uh -huh. I didn't know what was going to happen. <clears throat> but when I heard that scream, like I said, oh, and I took on that same scream. I started screaming just like they were screaming. Oh, wow. Mm. Uh -huh. It was just horrendous. The godliness of it. No God. Oh, no. Anywhere around there. No, and, 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 and I remember in, in this situation, I was thinking, I've always heard, oh, well, I'll be in heaven with all my friends. No. Ms. Apple, you knew that this was not a dream. No, you, it was you, not a dream. Because right at the beginning, you, you felt like it. Awake, yeah. You were Yeah, right, that you were awake, and yes. it was like a an out-of-body experience that you had, huh? Right, right, it was. I, was. I woke up from sleep, and next thing I you know, I was in this darkness. Wow. Yeah. And then after you went through that, then you came back to your body the same way that right. you left, you know, but... Right. Very grateful to God that the right. Lord allowed you to come right. back. Right. Wow. Tremendous. And I think one of the main things that people need to know is that it's, you're, you're not going to be with anyone other than your tormentor. <laughs> and even dreams, I mean, people that I've heard give their testimonies about hell, they <coughs> might have had people around them, yeah. but they weren't with them. They, mm. weren't, they, could, they showed no comfort to each other. No. Mm -hmm. They're in their own horror of whatever going taking place, yeah. Yeah. You know, whatever's taking place with them. <coughs> wow, well, that's amazing. And hell is real. It's mm -hmm. very real. You want to tell about you were a baby Christian and that you brother Roy. Oh yeah, so yeah, I hadn't been a Christian, I hadn't been saved that long, but I was on fire for God. And before this happened, I was on fire for God. I was excited about the things of the Lord. And um, I was going to Bethany at the time, and, mm -hmm. and so I, t I told Brother Roy about what happened, and he had me come and give that testimony at Bethany. Wow. And, um, uh, and the main thing then, too, that I got across was that it's not a party, and, mm -hmm. and you're, you're, you're by yourself in this torment. The same thing is it's, it's a personal relationship with Christ. It's a personal torment when you without oh, yeah. him. And there's no it's end personal. To it. yeah. And that I mean, you think of every way you can be physically <clears throat> hurt, they do it. Wow. Ooh. And it it doesn't stop. It does it's, there's no stopping Never to ending. it. It's forever and ever and ever. Never. Hmm. And not only was the, the physical pain, but the mental anguish and the and the the jeering and the, they made fun of you and it made you, you felt all this. You felt, I felt such shame and embarrassment and, um, and hate. Oh, they hated me. They hated me and it was a, it was almost like tangible. It was so thick of hate.
Wow. And they all hated me together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. And everything they could think of, everything. And it was evil. It was th They're so evil that they could think of things that we would never even imagine. Oh. And they did it. They did it mm -hmm. to me. Wow. Ms. Apple, what would you tell the people that are watching that, that they don't believe in hell? What would you tell them to do to escape from hell and condemnation? What would you tell them about coming to the Lord, about receiving the Lord? Well, number one, I know for a fact there's hell. And I, I would say, don't, don't walk, but run into the arms of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, Jesus is the only way. Mm -hmm. that he, but he is the way. And he is everything that we want. He is our, all of our love. That's what people want is love, to be loved. And accepted. He gives meaning to life. Yeah, and then to be accepted and to have fun. <laughs> Jesus is it. He is it. And nothing else is satisfying mm -hmm. like the Lord. Nothing. And, um, you know, you think about the things that you we enjoy. We enjoy eating desserts and stuff like that. But that that's only rewarding and satisfying for a moment. <laughs> And then, and then we're not satisfied about it. It doesn't even satisfy us anymore. But Jesus satisfies us through and through yeah. forever and ever. Really? There's no excitement like the Lord. Hmm. I remember what the first when I first got saved and was going to this little full gospel church. It got reminds me of the rest of the place. And we would have so much fun. And I had never been in church because I was Catholic. And I'd been in church, but not where you... A religious church. Talked mm -hmm. uh -huh. and, and had fellowship. And um, and we would sing and dance and praise the Lord. And I can remember <coughs> saying, oh, Brother Stuart, this is so wonderful. I've been to parties in my life, but nothing like this. <laughs> <laughs> and God. that's what heaven is. Heaven can be right here on earth through Jesus. Amen. And then it gets better and better and sweeter and sweeter. Yes, Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank that. you.